Thank you. Hey, oh. Here, my little. Stop to Alderaan. Almost there. Home stretch. Back across the planet. Now in London. And just like that, I'm in London. Oh man, I remember the first time I came here. Kind of a pivotal moment in Hack 5 history. It was 2010, 2011, and I had been watching a lot of Top Gear and I got it in my head that an epic motorcycle ride was just what I needed. So I decided to spend my a little bit of my birthday in February in England. In fact, this is the only time I've ever been to England not in February, which makes no sense because it's actually gorgeous. As it turns out, the sky can be blue in London. You just don't come in February. Anyway, point is, yeah, it was, it was strange because Shannon had to go back to Missouri to take care of her dad. And I wasn't sure what the future of the show was going to be. I did know that I at least wanted to go and have a bunch of meetups with all of these awesome folks that I had met on IRC. That it would be cool to do this kind of like tour of meetups, starting in London and, and doing a motorbike trip up to Sheffield to see Robin Wood. And then, you know, over to Manchester through the Peak District and then uh, across to Hollyhead to catch a ferry to Dublin to hang out with Archiver and then back down, kind of bypassing uh, Birmingham, but uh, back to London to do it again. I ended up missing the first flight because of delays and such, so I got in the next night really late, and Spida picked me up. Awesome, awesome guy. Funnily enough, South African dude, living here in London. Uh, props to you, man. Thank you for picking me up from the airport, getting me a converter for my power supply thing, and even taking me through my first roundabout. This was like my first trip in Europe, as it were. And I just remember like circling this roundabout over and over and over as if Benny Hill were playing. And I was on my way to my first host house, you could call it. I had set up these meetups all throughout Facebook and the idea was that I would uh, have a meetup and just go drinking with all the Hack 5 fans and that I would stay on somebody's couch because I'm poor and, you know, just like a 20-something year old uh, YouTuber. Anyway, the idea was pretty sound, except um, I didn't do a lot of vetting. It was just like, you know, first come, first serve. Like, hey, you say you'll put me up. Awesome. I'm happy to have accommodations. This town, super ridiculously expensive. My first accommodations in London, uh, I didn't really know too many details other than this guy said, hey, you can stay with me. Here's where it is on the map. And I'm like, wow, that's really close to Parliament. That's like right on the River Thames. Awesome. What I didn't understand at the time was that the accommodations weren't on the up and up in that it was kind of an uh, abandoned warehouse. And when I say warehouse, I mean like, the thing is a castle. But then again, everything here is a castle, formerly, so, you know, whatever. But it, it's got like turrets on the roof and, you know, all that crazy stuff. And so I pull up to it, I'm like, where on earth am I? Right, it's nighttime. And, uh, and I get introduced to, to my host and, and then I meet the, his like, not roommate, because as it turns out, he's actually not from London. He just knew a guy that was squatting in this warehouse. This French dude smoked a whole bunch. Guy was awesome, it was a lot of fun. He had a friend who was like from Denmark and he was a Nazi apologist or something. It was strange. And I basically spent my first night drinking shit cider out of a can and uh, falling asleep in a basement in a boiler room without any heat. Uh, in, a, in a joint that had stolen power across from Parliament. And I don't regret that whatsoever. It was a wonderful experience. The next morning I had a full English breakfast, as it were. Uh, and, and thank you to you guys for, for like really setting the tone. I mean, I did catch a cold and it kind of sucked to have to motorcycle with that. But then again, it was February. So what was I thinking anyway? That's the first part of this story. No regrets.
Now I could go on and on about all of the different meetups and what fun it was to motorcycle through the snow in the north of Wales, but at the time, the story continues here because at the, at the time Hack 5 was just like this little beer money side project and things were, you know, there was change in the air and I was open to that change and I feel like by being open to that and embracing that change and not fighting it, I was really fostering what I, I you know, the life I have today and I, I'm really grateful for this kind of mindset that allowed this all to happen because I was open for it and willing and accepting and uh, and not scared. Well, okay, I was scared. I was working in IT, but I had pretty much automated my job. The, the Williamsburg office had closed down. I was only going up to DC maybe once a month at that point. So, you know, as I was working from home and mainly working on Hack 5, I saw this opportunity to take this, this motorcycle trip through England and I didn't really get it approved, you could say, because I had automated so much that why rock, why rock the boat? Uh, it was kind of irresponsible of me, but uh, you know, when I got to England, I just popped in a British SIM card and I went on my merry way. This was before Google Voice, of course. On the flight home, right, I, I'm sitting next to the guy that, you know, you're making small talk and it was just as we were landing and it was like, oh, what do you do, what do you do, whatever. Uh, I'm a systems administrator and I also host this podcast. And he's like, whoa, okay, okay hang on, hang on. W which is it? Are you a podcaster or, or are you an IT guy? And I'm like, well... So we land and we're taxiing back and I pop in my US SIM card and suddenly I get a barrage of like all the voicemails were like coming in and I'm like, okay. So I'm checking my phone, my Blackberry as it were, and <laughs> the first voicemail is like, Hey Darren, not sure if you got the uh, email, but uh, we're gonna be having an all-hands meeting here soon, and want to get you confirmed because we all need to be on this call. And then another one, hey Darren, still haven't seen your confirmation. Listen, you don't have to come up to DC. It's just a call. Uh, just need to make sure that you're on the line. The next voicemail was, hey Darren, we're having that call in about an hour. I haven't heard from you. Are you okay? Where are you? Uh, otherwise, just make sure you're on this call. And then the last voicemail being, Hey, Darren, listen, I hate to have to tell you this on a voicemail, but we just had that all-hands meeting, and yeah, we're filing for bankruptcy, and um, and things are going to be changing around here. Well, yeah. So at, at that point, I put my phone down, and I, and I looked to the guy next to me, and I'm like, So, as it turns out, I'm a podcaster. I mean, in my mind, I guess I had already made that decision, but this was kind of the kick in the pants I really needed to just take that plunge. And I do feel like I was putting the cart before the horse, but by doing that, I just said to the universe, like, hey, we're gonna make this happen. And here we are. And it's because of everybody watching today and everybody that had been watching since 2010, 2011, 2005, that this has all continued and I'm so grateful. So yeah, that's that's kind of my story for the day. It's, um, you know, always stay open to that opportunity. Monsoon season. That's what it's been for the last four or five months in Indonesia, where I've been spending most of my time. And so of course I got, you know, a nice little raincoat and umbrella and all of that. And have I used it once? No. Not once. Not, of course, until I came to London. Ah, London. Oh look, here's something iconically London. Well, that's a fun sighting. Got a great idea? Bring it to the web the way we do and head over to Domain.com. They've got a slick domain discovery system and an easy checkout process so your site will be online in no time. And the Domain.com guys have been supporting Hack5 for years and they want to celebrate with a massive promo code. Use HAK Jumbo for 35% off new domain registrations now through November 30th. It's a limited time offer so when you think domain names, think Domain.com.